Hi, I'm Grant. And I'm Devin, and we're with Spring Creek Manufacturing. And today we will be showing you how to install a 53 inch suction cup rack. Our suction cup rack comes in two sizes a 53 inch and a 65 inch. We also have two options, with or without loading bars. With loading bars, it gives you an additional 20 inches of width on each side, which is nice for hauling more than one canoe. Having the extra width comes in handy. So, our suction cup racks, as Devin mentioned, they come in two different sizes 53 and 65 inches. 53 meant for uh, smaller SUV cars, uh, and 65 is going for bigger SUVs and, and truck uh, over the cap of trucks. We also do have two strapping methods. As you see here, this one is equipped with the, our handle strap method. Uh, we will show you how that attaches later on in the video. And then it does have a uh, through the cab strap method, which we will also show you how to do a little bit later in the video. Um, our suction cup racks are equipped with this non-stick rubber top. Um, it's also a non-marking, so it won't damage the gunnels of your canoe, your kayaks, your boats, or any of the loads you're looking to haul. Um, simple installation. It actually requires one tool, just a 9 16 wrench. Um, stay tuned, and we'll show you how to install them here. All right, so as we mentioned, we'll be installing a 53 inch suction cup rack today. Uh, we are doing the 53 because it's going on a Chevy Impala, so it's a smaller car, so we'll use that smaller rack. I went ahead and already put the handle straps on here uh, to save us the time here, but uh, simply to do so, you, all you would need is a 9 16 wrench. Uh, you would loosen the nut here. Uh, that's a 3 8 inch nut. And you would take the nut and the washers off, and then you would just slot the grommeted end of the handle strap through the um, bolt there and then tighten the nut back on so it's nice and tight. Um, also while you're doing so you want to make sure that you're sizing the suction cup rack properly to the vehicle. Uh, we recommend that you have the suction cup bases towards the uh, curvature of the, towards the ends of the car on the curvature so that it's on the frame uh, so it's a lot stronger than having them right in the middle of the, the car there. Um, so simply to install here once you're all sized up and you get it ready in place is you'll take the handle strap here you'll open the door of the vehicle You'll find the grab handles that you see here on the inside of a lot of vehicles, right there. You loop the strap through. Make sure that it's level here with the rack itself. And it'll come back up through this cam buckle here. And you'll, at the same time, you'll compress the suction cup down and hold it tight. Get that there and then simply shut the door and that's nice and compressed down on there as you see. Uh, you would then repeat on the opposite side and do the same steps with the uh, other side of the handle strap there. And then for removal, just as easy. So uh, these are no, by no means permanent. You see there's no drilling required so you can actually move them from car to car, from truck to, to SUV, etc. And so I'll show you how to take them apart here now. You'll just simply loosen the cam buckle up, remove your strap loop it out so it's out of the handles there and then you'll pop the knobs here on the suction cup rack and simply that takes it right off the knobs that are on the ends of the suction cups um, you'll just release them um, and that takes them right off the pressure on the top all right so the second strapping method that we have is the through the cab strap uh, this way is, works just as similar as a handle strap, but the, cab, the strap actually goes all the way through the cab of the vehicle. So how you install this, you open the door here, take one end of the through the cab strap and loop it from outside, or from, excuse me, from inside to the outside and just get enough of a tail so that you can grab onto and then you're going to loop it through the cab of the vehicle itself. You're going to swing around, keep the door open, swing around the other side here. Grab the other end, same thing from inside out. And then you'll get that nice and tight and you'll compress your suction cups down. Get the strap tight through there, shut the strap in the door. Same thing on this side, compress the suction cups down, get the strap nice and tight, shut the strap loose ends in the door. Got it nice and sturdy there. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, this rack here has the extending loading bars uh, that add the extra 20 inches of width on either side. Um, so that can uh, just add for having an additional boat on the back, otherwise if you're hauling an extra wide load. So um, same for removal, just as easy as the first, first method there, just loosen the cam buckle, take the strap out of there, pop the nubs on the suction cups, releases them there. 
same on the other side here, loosen the strap up, pop off the knobs, and the rack comes off like so. Thanks for watching this video today. If you have any further questions about our suction cup rack, don't hesitate to call at 218-735-8719 or visit us on the web at www.springcreek.com.